Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Disc Creatures, a fun monster training game inspired by the Game Boy Caller. After the end of the last episode, I took a little bit of time, about an hour, to go all the way through all my disc creatures, pick out a new disc creature, and train him up a little bit. He is not high as everybody else, but he is doing good and holding his own. We'll get a little bit more in depth into that in just a minute. I want to jump right into the game because we are a little bit further behind than we were in the last episode. So let's get going. We have to get through this little dust area. That is a little bit of a problem because they pop up just like that and surprise attack. At the end of the last episode, we were in this junkyard, the junkyard here where we know the alien is throwing out dirt and or not throwing out dirt throwing out junk metal all over the place and we are sent in to try to figure out what's wrong with it i had a little bit of issues i was having a little bit of trouble with my volta gamma he wasn't doing much against all these lightning attacks I decided to go through my disc creatures and figure out which I should use. Now, I went to see what was in the electric that, what is the electric weak to? And it was ground, I think it's earth. Earth, I think, yeah, earth and ice. I have no disc creatures that, none at all that are ice. So I went and started looking at my earth disc creatures. There was a few I could use. I was kind of debating, trying to figure out which one I wanted to use. One was a big tarantula-like guy, and the other one was this Mediver. The thing about this one that I chose, there was two reasons why I chose Mediver. And the two reasons are, well, one is he was an earth type. Another reason is that he is also a water type and like I said before the combo types the types that are two different types of types are more beneficial than ones that are not they give you a little bit of extra abilities some diversification that really helps out in the long run I chose Mediver he is coming up yeah, Mediver. He's coming up pretty well. He's now level 21. He's holding his own very well against these electric types. So that is really good. He's one of the things that really caught my eye on him is if you look at his data in the disc index, it says that the Mediver has a high HP, which is something that I really like. It has high guard and high something else. It was it was guard and resist or something like that. Now what that tells me is, and something that I think I figured out is with each type or which each attack, it uses mind ability or oh my bracketron's in real big trouble so it uses each ability either uses a power stat or a mind stat then it could be a normal attack or one of the elements i guess you could say guard is against power and i think it's resist or something else i will check up just to make sure what it is i'm not a hundred percent i can't remember off the top of my head for some reason what that other stat is but guard i would say is your defense against power attacks and resist is your defense against mind attacks and considering that he had high hp high guard barrier that's what it's called so i think guard is against power attacks barrier is against mind attacks he had high hp high guard and high barrier so that is the reason why i ended up choosing him 
he is way behind everybody and that presents a little bit of a problem here in that he's not hitting as hard really he's not really doing as much but considering earth is resistant to electric it's really not hurting him very much the damages he's getting hit so i'm not too far off i'm doing pretty good he's holding his own we're moving forward which is a good thing although my bracketron is taking some heavy damage here because of the electric attacks he is not resistant he is weak against electric so that's kind of hurting me a little bit here in that he is getting quite a bit of damage i sneak through here i want to try to get ah he's gonna ambush me aren't they he got up behind me and he ambushed me yep i knew it that's yeah this is gonna be tough if i can get through here i believe there is another healing spot past this if i remember correctly but this was a rather difficult area to go through if i remember correctly i'm gonna have him magical veil my bracketron as much as possible because i'm gonna tremor these because he needs to be careful over those electric types and i've really got to watch him he is very close to his level up which is good so that he is going to get all of his health back soon but we're also quickly very very quickly running out of our all of our stuff that's we're running out of our healings and yeah my it's not good it doesn't look good and we we'll, might have to jump back and get some more of those but i think we're doing pretty good right here i think we got these the one thing that is really hurt hurting us right now is well mediver is not as leveled up as everybody else he's fairly lower level than everybody else which is a bad thing and then bracketron is getting extra damage because he is weak to electric so we're having a little bit of trouble but my great tamati and my mud diver i believe are both resistance to oh no so electric doesn't bother him one way or the other great tamati but if you look at the mud diver he is weak to water and grass or yeah weak to those two and then earth the ones that are coming with us so electric and earth are not hurting him very much which is actually being very helpful for us so we're gonna try to get through here as best as we can and try not to get ambushed i bet that's an ambush he popped up right behind me although the metals there i kind of like that that's not too bad because the electric wave will hit but i can get him pretty easily and pretty good i believe without too much trouble get these out of the way the electric guy should fall fairly quickly let's go ahead and put a magical veil on him i'm going to just tremor everybody and hopefully we'll be able to okay yeah my divers dodge out of the way that's good hopefully we'll be able to get through at least the electric one that's the one i really want to get out first and any that get knocked down are definitely a bonus here and it looks like he's using a lot of abilities that help them out and not straight attacking which is definitely a good thing the electric is also or the metal is also weak to earth i just saw a flash up there so that's a good thing did he not was he paralyzed or something because he didn't do that magical veil there which is unfortunate because i'd really like to have the sap hit one of the metal guys but we'll see how it goes and hopefully oh no my muck diver is so close to dying so we're gonna have to end up what we're gonna have to end up doing here i believe is giving him some kind of health or he is not going to be able to yeah this is not going well for me to be honest 
I really could. I'm gonna sap him. I'm gonna throw trimmer and then I'm gonna have him using a gold. It, it's gonna be have to be that way or it's going to, it said he couldn't move. So that means he's not going to, ah, that's, that's exactly what I expected to happen. It said he wasn't able to move. So I figured that means he's gonna go down. And this is a, a pretty hard battle coming out. And that paralyzed right now is really doing a lot of damage. One of the things that I need to get here done is I need to have Muck Diver survive this so that he gets so he'll be able to get the experience from him that's really what we're here is so that he can get experience and level up but it's not looking very good to be honest that paralyzing the knockdown is really causing me a lot of troubles here and it's not doing well if I can get that electric ah what Ugh. okay he's out of the way at least we got somebody out of the way and that should help me out here I want to great my great tamati up hopefully let's go ahead and sap one of them I do not know which one of those are going to be helpful and I do oh, shoot should I use another item for him or not let's try a you know what i'm gonna try burrow because if he goes underground i believe it, he has a like a increased chance of not being hit when he's underground when he's actually burrowed so hopefully that'll be able to work out for us and he doesn't get knocked down again because if we get knocked down this is going to be causing a lot of problems here is he weak to water it doesn't look there's like there's some specific specifically weak to water which is giving me some trouble i don't think they're weak to let's try tremor because i don't think they're weak to rock either let's try it and see what happens i'm going to keep on burrowing with my muck diver if i can keep him underground that's going to be a lot better even the great tomati is not getting a lot of pull out of this because he's not getting the needed health because he's just not strong and not that he's not strong enough it's just that he the metal is not weak to the grass move so he's really not able to pull out as much as i was hoped to on these i don't know let's try tremor and see what it does i'm going to keep on burrow we might be able to get out of this but this is going to be a devastating that helped out that really helped out that e-charge there this is going to be a really devastating fight here and having this go as far as round nine is kind of crazy i didn't expect it to go this for this fur this far in this one round here unfortunately i think what he's doing is keeping on using that guard and that's really hurting me and i need to figure out do i have any well mind is let's try trick and see if that will do anything do i have any let's try met well i can't try anything with him he's gonna have to e-charge do i have anything that is a mind because he keeps on moving up his guard which i think is for power attacks and i wonder if because he's the barrier is not there we go that may have been it because he was raising his guard it was strengthening himself against the power attacks that i were doing but he wasn't raising his barrier which is what's against the mind attacks learned a new move i'm kind of curious what that is because i need all kinds of help i can get right now move changer well it's a couple of water moves bubble bomb, bubble bomb sometimes debuff speed and then inflicts dark neither of them are wonderful and i'm thinking that i need the let's take the poison wave off and try submerge 
just because it's a damage B, maybe it'll do a little bit more or help me out a little bit more. I really need to try to get through here as the best I can. This is going to be, oh, the, oh, no, nope, that was not the right way. Is that, let's just go. I was trying to avoid an ambush there, and I bet you they got me. Man, that's so frustrating. I am just on the cusp of getting through there, and I thought I had it, but it doesn't look like it. And that Brachatron is, I'm not worried really about the Brachatron. He is strong enough and so far high in the level that if he is knocked out one time it's not going to be that big of a difference he's he is 43 which is yeah a lot higher four more than the great tomati and 21 higher than the mud diver so yeah he's really not going to be the one that i'm worried about here i'm going to yeah just go back through there and try to get these one of the nice things about the trimmer is it does have a chance to knock them out or knock them down which keeps them from moving that turn so doing that twice really does help out being you know helps that out a little bit more okay, we are going to go i really don't think that should be an ambush is it an ambush? God, I got ambushed again. This is going to be so ugly. I bet you anything my Brachatron is going... Well, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figured that was going to happen. I really don't want him to. That's... Yeah, that's the thing is I really don't want him to go down. And I'm wondering if I should... Not Magical Veil, but an item. Do I have enough... I got seven more. Let's do that because the what I need here is the trimmers. The trimmers are what's going to do the extra damage through here. So I'm hope no, never mind. It really didn't help me out any there. So hopefully the great Tamati and the mud diver can make it through. I am not a hundred percent sure about this. This is going to be another very tough battle. The MacDiver is definitely not the a strong one here. No, we're going to do moves. We're going to try to pull some health back out of there with the... Wow, that's not good there. I got knocked down. That's... And he's almost out. Well, the sap, I was hoping to pull out some more health there. That's good. That definitely helped out, but I am not sure that we are going to win this fight here. What might happen is the Great Tamighty might end up winning this for everybody here. And I really don't want that to happen. Oh, he can't move. Well, 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 now isn't that just peachy? This is really bad. I didn't expect, we were doing so good there for a little bit and I don't, I'm not sure what happened. If, I guess if the great Tamati gets it, he pulls it out, but yeah, it looks like we're going to go down here. I'm not sure what we can do to save him. I mean, it's just gonna be just him the whole rest of the way. And if he gets, yep, right there. There we did, I lost the battle. I'd, it's been a long time since I lost the battle. Okay, so we are down and out almost. That really didn't work out for us at all. I, w I played a few and we were doing so good against them that I thought the MacGyver was going to be okay. Maybe he is still a little under under strength there under leveled or something i don't know let's see if we can sell off some of this stuff and get right back into the discs this again the gold means that i don't have it loaded up in my disc net so i don't want to sell these so we got we could do a great we could do a tomati i wanted to keep 
I want to keep two of everyone. There's 10. So that's going to help us. I really need to get some more money. We, whew, we definitely need that money right now because we are completely out of everything to be honest with you. Everything I have, great charges, the just about everything. Let's look and see what we have. But I'm pretty sure we are out of the energy. Go well, we have no silvers. I'm gonna get 10 of those. And then I want, we have six of them. So let's go ahead and get nine. What else? Uh, we have Leapfrog. I want a couple. Let's go and get. Yeah, we want to make sure that we have. That's everything. I'm thinking, oh, do we not have any reboot? Oh, I just got reboot capsules. What do I want to get? I'm thinking about getting me some more of those. I don't really need the just the intergen. They are. 30 only refills 30 and I'm thinking my guys are much more above that so let's do that I think we'll be a lot better off at that point I wonder if oh we're also in the electric so let's look at my equipment maybe the scope is not the best for him but you know what I need? Let's do equip. Who has my disc recorder? Okay, so let's keep the disc recorder on him. My Bracketron, the pop box. Now target when you land up. No, I'm not going to do that. What I think the shock charm would be better because that's hurting me. The paralysis is hurting me in this. So what is left? I got a toxic. Yeah, no, a ball. No, I don't want to self-destruct. I think that's probably if I had another shock charm, I might use it. What do can I buy a shock shock charm from here? I can. So let's go ahead and buy one more shark shock charm. I think that's going to help me out a little bit more because at least two of my guys are going to be a little bit more resistant to paralysis, which I think is going to help quite a bit. Go ahead and see. Yeah, well, we got right out there. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and take on every one of these because they are still several levels 35 and 36 so there's still 13 levels above my my mcdiver so anything that he can do is going to be better than if he if if i can get more experience into him and level him up a little bit more it's going to be better that's what i'm trying to say so hopefully we can get him up a, a few more levels as we go through these early ones and be able to take him out slimy mud did 69 damage i gotta remember that because i want to see how much the uh, trimmer does on his i don't think we'll get to him but i'm hoping that Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I, I so 69 damage the slimy mud did. So I want to see how much damage the trimmer does to kind of compare it a little bit and see if it's better or worse than the other one. I mean, I like these. It's so much easier when you're fighting all of the same type. Who is going to, yeah. So when they're all the same type, it's so much easier to deal with them. Ah, man, my muck diver is getting really hurt. Don't get knocked out. Right, as long as we did not get knocked out, that's the Bracketron, I believe. And then here's the muck diver. 52. So yeah, 38. So actually one of those is doing a lot more damage than the other one. 
I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here if an item I don't want him to go in so we're gonna go ahead and fill him up because these tremors are much better and that slimy mud did a lot more damage than his tremor do so I'm thinking that maybe this would be the way to go and it just takes another 94 off of him so quickly there But it's nice to have him leveling up almost every battle. I think every other battle probably is when he's leveling up. Okay, every, uh, yeah, I think every other battle is he's leveling up, which is helping out quite a bit. And it's also helping us by not using as many of the, a uh, many of the, Energens. We'll sap him. I unfortunately I don't have something that will do a straight attack to the Brachytron doesn't have something that will do a lot of damage on the only the electric one. And my McDiver got knocked down, unfortunately, or par paralyzed. Paralyzed and oh wow, this is just I got in here and I played a little bit and I really thought that we were gonna do much better here, but this is really not doing as much as I would have hoped or as good as I would have hoped. Even that sap, oh okay, there we go, that sap did well. The trimmer should kill that Mayamic out. Hopefully that and the slimy mud is gonna, wow. Okay, I should check out the muck divers moves because he did get another move there i don't want to close it yeah it looks like another water move it's all enemies can cause confusion i think that maybe see i'm i'm on the edge again about which is better a one that hits one or one that hits all because that that caused confusion to all three there could be very, very beneficial to us. You know what? I'm going to do Magical Veil on my Brachytron because he is already down half his health. And if I can't... Oh, Jesus, stupid paralysis. I swear, it's driving me nuts already. And he has something that makes him stronger against paralysis barrier so his barrier went up so i need to use power moves on the whatever that the efo that slimy mud did well and he's now he's covered in gloop i don't know exactly what that does but at least he's covered in it that's that's helpful right i don't know is let's try submerge on him I don't know, I should have checked to see what type it was, but at least it's a water type, and I think water, the metal is weak to water. Lead ray, lead, lead ray. That's harder to say than what you'd think. Hopefully, at least, yeah, if one of them goes down, it definitely, definitely much better. It's like exponentially better as you get more and more down, so that's really good. There's Submerge. It was a devastating blow and, oh, he's strong against water. Okay, so that's, no. That's not helping me out. Yeah, so then all I got there is these and I don't know if, oh, that was a mind move too. I really should have checked that again. I don't know if Tremor is a mind move or not, but hopefully with these two hits here that we'll be all right. There's the sap and we are just inking it out here 814 that was a good amount of experience to get out of that one but it was a difficult battle we'll do one more battle here really quickly and hopefully we can get a little bit more out of it it looks like we weren't quite ready i believe to get through here but i i think we could still pull it off unfortunately we did die which is never a good thing but I, yeah, I think we'll be able to do okay. We just got to go in it again and see what we could do about killing everybody and 
working a little bit harder. Oh, 96. Nice. That was a great hit there. I think we'll be okay. Needle Shock is going to hit Brachatron. Of course, it's going to hit Brachatron. Oh, gosh. We're so close. He is really close to level. Oh, no. He just leveled up. So, yeah, the Brachatron's a little bit in trouble. But again, we can start off with that Veil, which helps out. The magical veil which helps out and then i'm also going to go ahead and give him an item here that's going to be all of our episode today unfortunately we did not you know what i'm going to give him a silver as well because i want to use a little bit that up as well not going as well as i was hoped we got a little bit of a curveball there but i think we're going to be able to push through it thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time bye everybody